Alright. So this one's going to be a little bit weird. I'm probably going to keep this short, but the update for From the Depths of Steam Engines, that being these lovely things that you see in front of you, have been put out. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown. Uh, the boiling chamber is where it all begins. This is where the steam is made. Blah, 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 blah. I bet you could understand that from just looking at the thing. Uh, boiler control, you need one on the end, and that controls the burn rate of materials. That's right, it burns material, not fuel. That means you don't have to convert material into fuel for craft, which is an upside of these little things. Um... Uh, obviously the piping carries the steam around, you can, that's my phone going off, um, obviously the piping carries steam around, uh, you can have multiple boilers per thingy, but you need, uh, a boiler control for each one, they can be in this one by one, or three by three by one. The pressure release valve, well, it's obvious it releases the pressure when the pressure gets too high, which is a good thing because when this, when this uh, rotation speed on the steam pistons, which create the power, um, when that goes up too high, when the speed goes up too high, they start taking damage at 1800 degrees per second, apparently. So if you have this one of these going way too fast for its own good, you have too much steam going through there, uh, it will ca start causing catastrophic failures. Uh, the pistons, which need to be connected directly to the steam piping, have to connect to a crankshaft here, which can be as long as you like. You can have as many pistons on it as you like, but you can have four per uh, horizontal or vertical slice. I decided to do this vertically to see how well I could do with a compact design. This is my first design. Um, you have to connect the entire crankshaft to a gearbox to make actual engine power. This one is creating 5,615, which is, it's all right. It's all right. I originally had a steam turbine generator which creates power from the steam and I just had it sticking off where this boiler is now but it reduced the pressure and I didn't like that I, I I don't know what I was going for but this was my first design so I wanted to just fiddle around with it um, so you can make one of these as long as you want uh, middle and window are interchangeable. You just gotta have the end here connected to the... Or, or is it... I don't know if it could be either way around, but I started the front... Oh, oh no, I was right the first time. No, the end of it has to be connected to the piping, and then the front needs to be connected to the turbine generator. All right, and again, these can be large or small. You can have fireboxes on the side for like, oh, I'm gonna pretend that I actually shovel coal in here, but you don't. You don't actually get to do that. <laughs> they are purely for decoration, as it says. Um, steam piping comes in a large variety of shapes for use how you see fit and the gearbox also sort of works in the same fashion uh, the there's a large gearbox and a small gearbox I don't know if the small gearbox makes uh, less power but that's what I assumed um, so I so I started off with the large ones and that's why the thing's so wide the thing's so wide because I was using large parts these are four meters long, and you have to connect the fifth little bit that sticks out that doesn't have a hitbox to the gearbox here. Uh, there's also another way to make electri electrical power. You can 
instead of making steam turbine, you can connect the shaft directly to this shaft generator, but that end of the shaft can no longer be used for a gearbox. I'm not entirely sure if, actually, let me, let me check something. I'm going to check to see if you can put a gearbox at both ends. <laughs> some testing you could probably do some testing on your own I'm I'm just fiddling at this point but the bottom line is these are interesting I don't know what role they're gonna serve I I guess it's like if you don't want to have fuel lining the place but then again I'm not entirely sure that having a system where taking one part out is going to destroy the entire system whether you like it or not is going to have a good idea is going to have a good effect Personally, for now, I'm going to stick with the um, classic uh, fuel engines for now, because, well, the tried and true. Until I get some testing in, or someone can get a better video out, this is just a short little thing to tell you. Oh, the, it's Christmas morning, the thing's here. Um, fiddle around with it, see what, see what you can make. But for now, this is this is the video over. I'm 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 done. This is good. This is good. I'm I'm real interested to see what people can come up with here. Lathrix, if you're watching, which I doubt you are because you're far too famous for me. You better try something with these. This is this is crazy. This is weird. And I know you like crazy and weird. Alright. This has been the broken set. Stay fractally.